What is up, One Pride, and how are we feeling today? What started to feel inevitable finally happened, and Sheila Ford Hamp decided to get rid of both Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia. I know that's got Lions fans feeling really good today. Um, I know some said that this decision isn't going to affect the rest of the season, and it's just to appease the fans. But I'm going to touch on why I still think it was important to do it now. Um, first, let's just kind of go over some of the things that Sheila said in her press conference. It wasn't live, but you know, you've seen a lot of people tweeting about it today and to this extent. Um, she said it was clear that this wasn't working. Obviously something that we could all see, so that's not news to us. But she did mention that the last two games were the final straw and that they were quote unquote extremely disappointing. Um, I think that's an understatement. That's something that we can all agree with her on. Um, I think she was talking about Stafford coming back next year and essentially saying that that's going to be on the new head coach that they bring in. So there's a little bit to dissect there. Some things that we'll talk about probably at another time. But this is why I think that doing this now was still so important. I think Lions fans talk so much about wanting to be heard by the Fords. Well, this is it, guys. Sheila is listening. I think it would have felt like a slap in the face to Lions fans having watched these past two weeks and some of the other games this season had she not given them the can after being embarrassed on the national stage on Thanksgiving Day. So Lions fans, you wanna be heard, you were heard. Sheila is showing you that. Don't tear her down like she's just another Ford that's not listening because this communicates to me loud and clear that she was listening and that's what you've wanted. Uh, I also think that it was really important for her to do this because it shows owner competence. I mean, what we were seeing as a result out on the field was the complete opposite. It was incompetence in coaching. It just looked like a disaster, often on both sides of the ball. So the fact that we as fans were so clearly able to see that and dissect that, we needed to be backed up by ownership. Ownership needs to show that they know that that is incompetence and that they are competent enough to do what is necessary based on that. Otherwise, why would another GM or why would another coach wanna come here and work with the Fords in Detroit if they are not showing that they know that this product out on the field is completely unacceptable? And last but not least, I also think this was necessary right now because it gives the players some hope. Whether or not they're gonna be here next season, I mean, Maybe it's fulfilling their hope of getting out of here. Maybe it's giving them hope if their contracts are keeping them here and they want to stay. But you and I both saw it. Down on the sidelines, I mean, there were guys laughing at the product left on the field when they were shut out in Carolina. There are guys just dejected, sad, you know, not a smile to be seen, nobody out there riling them up on the sidelines. And that communicated that they have given up in their head coach, potentially even more so further into the organization. But this shows that ownership is on their side and that those players that will be sticking around in Detroit have something to look forward to under Sheila Ford Hamp. So all that to be said, whether or not this move ended up just being to appease fans, it was still important to show that Sheila Ford Hamp had the guts to do it. She's not just another Ford. All that to be said, I have got a lot of research to do as far as the next coaching candidate that I'd like to see take over in Detroit and definitely the next GM as well. I really haven't put a lot of time and effort into that. So I'm gonna open that question up to you guys. Please let me know in the comments below who you wanna see as the next GM and the next head coach here in Detroit. And just emoji me your feelings after the firing of Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia, because I know a lot of you have been feeling really, really good about that. Be sure to like this video, 
hit the notification bell for more videos to come out. I have a feeling that now that we've got a little bit more positive things to talk about, I'll be releasing my next video sooner rather than later. And do make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Definitely follow along with me on social media. I love to interact on Twitter. The tag is at Rach Marie Sports. And I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Rachel Marie Sports. As always, one pride. And bye-bye, Matt Patricia.